Hi, my name is Dr. Madhu Pai. I'm a professor at McGill University, Montreal. I'm a tuberculosis researcher. I'm the Associate Director of the McGill International TB Center and Director of McGill Global Health Programs. What test can be used for diagnosing tuberculous pleural effusion? Obviously, a chest x-ray which shows an effusion is the start point for the uh, investigation. If an a pleural effusion is suspected to be of tuberculous etiology, then a pleural aspirate or a pleural tap uh, is recommended. The pleural fluid is then sent off for biochemical analysis. One can do a test called adenosine deaminase that is recommended by the index TB guidelines for extrapulmonary TB published by the uh, government of India and WHO. Um, ADA levels, as you can see on the slide, can be used to as a, as a non-specific biomarker for pleural effusion. And then one could do smears, putum smears. Unfortunately, sensitivity in pleural effusion is generally very low and liquid cultures is obviously uh, recommended as well. So there is no one single good test for pleural effusion. One should try ADA, one should try sputum smears and liquid cultures. Gene Expert unfortunately does not seem to have high sensitivity in pleural effusion. It does have high sensitivity in TB lymphadenitis and meningitis. So the WHO does not uh, recommend Gene Expert for pleural effusion nor does the index TB guidelines by the government of India. Even that guideline does not recommend gene expert for pleural effusion. But um, a, a positive gene expert on a pleural fluid is helpful, but a negative uh, gene expert does not really rule out uh, a pleural effusion. Um, what about interferon gamma release assays on blood? Like I, like I already mentioned, uh, these tests like interferon gamma TB gold were really designed for latent TB. So even if it is positive, it doesn't necessarily mean the positivity is because of the pleural effusion. It could be because somebody is already infected uh, by MTB and is latently infected. Therefore, there is really no clear utility for TB gold or for the man to skin test in uh, pleural effusion. In addition to uh, pleural aspirate, if it is possible, it will be very good to get a pleural biopsy done. That tissue can then be divided, sent off to microbiology as well as pathology. Microbiologists can use the tissue to uh, use for cultures and for smears and potentially also gene expert on pleural biopsy tissue. The yield on tissue samples generally seems to be higher than the yield in uh, the effusion itself. And the remaining sample should be sent off to histopathology. Histopathology, if, uh, if it shows granulomatous lesion, can often be very helpful. Um, pleural biopsy is challenging to do, but if you can do it in your clinical setting, then this would be quite rewarding to use along with the pleural effusion analysis.